Welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael Silva and you're watching the very first episode of a new series that I'm doing, Figuring Out Money. Hey, money is a complicated subject. It can go up, down, sideways, over here. We all handle it differently. It's like taboo. We don't want to talk about it or let people know what we have or the struggles that we're going through. This is all very interesting to me and I'm here to put together short little videos to build success in your finances. I'm on this journey. Will you go on this journey with me? I guess we'll see. I mean, I have over 10 subscribers, 19 now I think, so pretty freaking famous, like whoa. So yeah, this is the first episode. You guys, if you like the content, Hit the subscribe button, smash the like. YouTube algorithm really likes that. And I appreciate it as well. If you guys have questions or ideas for new episodes, can you leave those in the comments too? It's sometimes hard to be here in a room by myself. Thinking about things and what I wanna film. So yeah, if you have ideas or if you have questions, I'd like to hear about them. In today's episode, I'm gonna talk about the four things that we all do with our money. However, I'm gonna tell you then in the order at which I do them to reach my goals and the success that I want to see. So let's go ahead, hop into my computer and see what the heck I'm talking about. All right, welcome to the computer. Here we go. These are the four things that I am doing with my money in specific order. Now these four things we all do. However, we do them in different orders. Now, I used to do them in a different order, but I strategically now do them in this specific order because it adds to my happiness. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel less dependent on my money. Like, I don't want my money to own me. I don't want to feel anxious about paying bills and having to, you know, make more money to afford things that, that I want. No, I have control of my money. My money does not have control of me. And the reason for it is because of this order in which I control the money that comes into my bank account. So yes, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you this. Number one is give. The first thing that I do when I get money is I give some of it away. Now, me personally, I tithe a portion of my income to my local church. That is what I do. That does not mean you need to do that. If you might have a uh, an organization that you know of that you might want to donate to. Now, you don't need to donate. I mean, I understand that if people have debt and you're going through struggles, you don't need to donate or give a lot of money. The reason why I want give to be first is you can do, I mean, it could be a dollar, right? It could be a coffee for somebody. It could be something very small. But when you get paid, I want the very first thing that you think about is to think about somebody other than yourself. Now, that's very hard in today's culture because we're constantly being force-fed all these things that other people have, but I want you to know they're only showing you what they want you to see, right? So in order to break away from that crowd is to do something different. And I can assure you that if you focus on other people or giving when you get your money, you're gonna be placed in a different mindset. Just give it a shot. Buy a coffee, like I said, when you go to the coffee shop, buy some, buy it for somebody, and then all of a sudden they're gonna be like super thankful and like shooken up about it. And it, it's gonna make you feel really good for the rest of the day or the rest of the week. So yes, number one is give. Number two, invest. Now I'm not gonna tell you specifically what you need to invest in at this point in time, but I want you to know that investing for your future self is extremely important. You're not investing just for your future self, but it might be for your family, your future family, your child's education, whatever the case may be, you're focusing in on, yes, yourself, but your future self. So it's another, it's another other person, right? So you're gonna start by giving, you're focusing in on somebody else, and then you're gonna invest another portion of it um, to your future self and your uh, future retirement. The next one is save. Now, save and invest could be very similar, but I wanna differentiate the two to make sure you understand why I didn't just go from give to save. Investing, you're investing and having your money multiply over a period of time, a longer period of time. Saving, you're picking individual things that it is that you want in the short term. So if you are planning a wedding, you want to save money in that little bucket, right? If you are buying a new car, you want to save the money to buy that car. If you are want to go shopping, buy clothes, buy purses, buy jewelry, buy 
whatever it is, ne decorations for your house, you need to save money for those specific things, your short-term goals. So that's number three, when your money comes in, once again, you give some, you invest a little bit for your future self, and then you start saving for what it is that you want um, or even um, stuff that you don't want. Maybe it's an emergency fund, you don't ever wanna use it, but you wanna make sure that you're saving for it, right? The last one is spend. Now, spending, I put last. Now, spending could really be like your bills. And unfortunate thing about bills is those are typically the first things in our head. And you're like, if I give money, I won't have money to pay my bills. Well, I'm not saying give a lot, right? You know, there will be more information to come about how we can earn more, how we can give more, how we can spend less. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of personal finance books out in this world. And I'll tell you one thing, these four things, like, there's a book about giving, there's a book about investing, there's books about saving, spending, cutting out debt. But the thing is, you need to understand these foundations and you need to have this process in place to be happy in the first place, right? So yes, spending category is bills, um, material goods, whatever the case is, like whatever you spend money on now. Saving, number three, right? Saving eventually turns into spending. But the reason why you want to save first before you spend is because if you're spending money that you don't save or don't have, you go into what's called debt. <laughs> and apparently the average household debt in America is $6,000, which I personally think it could be potentially more than that. But I don't have the facts in front of me and the facts don't matter at this point in time. What matters is your economic conditions. My personal economic conditions worry about me. So this is the strategy that I use. I give, I invest, I save, and then I spend. And if I want to add more fuel to this fire, then on some other episodes, I'm going to be talking about how we can earn more, you know, make more money, what to invest in, and so forth. So yeah, I hope this helps set up the framework I hope this gives you good insight into what it is that I'm doing. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, go ahead and smash the like if you like this. Subscribe to my channel, please. I mean, you'll be you'll be at the ground floor. This is gonna be this is gonna be a hit show. Trust me, a hit show. Hello, hello. All right, guys. Enough of today. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Toodles.